I actually had mentioned way, way back on the second one of these that I was going to show a comparison. Third one? No, I'm pretty sure the second one. Uh, I was going to show a comparison between Samson at level 15 and Samson at level 15 in the future. Um, mostly because I wanted to see if he ever actually made it back to his original stats. And damn it, Samson. Really? Really? So apparently Samson is about six total stat points off of where he's supposed to be compared to the very beginning of the game. Admittedly, he has more defense, which is nice, and more speed. Um, yeah, it's... It's pretty terrible. So, thought I would just show that part before I got started. Um, Samson's not level 15 anymore, but he is actually... Uh, let's see... 17 now. But, there you go. So, I'm heading out to the tower now. Again. Hopefully this time not as screwed up as last time. Yeah, I can fast forward through this easily. Too far. Really? Alright. Remember this place, right? In this case, though, we're actually going here first. First off, we need to set down the Vase of Life. Then, we need to use that magic bean that we've had sitting in our inventory for a third of the game now. Places the magic bean in the vase of life! And then run back. Yeah, it's mechanical. I don't understand why. I could have just put this at the top. It's not that hard. This does stuff, by the way. Lots of stuff. Hey, look! There is now a way up. This place will become the bane of my existence, actually, no, because I have healing right now, so the bad part of the game is over. Things get difficult again, but it, in my mind, it never gets as difficult as it was for that section of the game. So here is the shtick for this. Basically, I have a limited number of steps that I can grab water. And eventually it will spill. So I have to get to a flower before that happens. That's it. Oh gods, so many high elves. Remember what I said about the bad part of the game being over? Yeah, I just, I'm fighting five guys that can all use an area of effect. Yeah. I'm tempted to just use the tornado vase and be done with it. There we go. Magic out the wazoo. Let's piss them all off. See how long I survive. I bet all three of them will win two and kill me. Oh! Silence two! That's awfully nice of them. Eh, they silence the wrong set of people. Unfortunately, this probably won't silence the wrong set of people. Great! Taunt is silenced, so nothing's gonna get killed. I don't know why they bothered. Yeah. Isn't this game fun? Remember, I was fully healed upon entering this battle. Fully healed. Could not do a single thing about it, and I just got a message. Fully healed. Could not... Yeah, no. No, what? Okay. No more Mr. Nice Spoon. Ah, 
die. That's fine. So, yeah. That kind of screwed me over. Badly. Very badly. Well, plus, I'd at least heal back. Oi. Okay. Also, if I remember right, as long as you're carrying water, you can't encounter a random battle. Hotter, hotter, hotter. Naga. Single S warrior can do this. Damn it, the other way was the treasure chest. Okay, time to backtrack. Yetis. Oh, crap. Forgot yetis have magic. Well, I get to be groggy again. Yay. I might be running away from this place. I don't know where I'm supposed to go, because this is the only dungeon that I can go to right now. So what's really unfair is that enemies don't actually have MP. So no matter what I do, they will always be able to outcast me. Always. Kind of tempted to go back and grab a bunch of vases and just use a vase every round. Okay, Annie, do your best. Let's run back down again. Go ahead and grab some water. So this one I can do. Oops. Okay. All of that, and I gained... Well, armor. Okay. That's fine.
Oh, illusionists. I remember them being bad. Why were they bad? Other than the fact that they're mages, obviously. They're squishy, at least. That helps. Alright, back down again. Living armor. Not leveled up. Not that, that helps at all. I should heal Samson. Oh, hey, look, that wasn't too bad. If only McWedka actually could do that more than, like, once. Okay, so, this is a new mechanic. One loving armor? I can do that. Mechanic, you can grow leaves. Welcome to New Mechanic World. Yeah, you'll notice that I start using more and more magic as time goes on in just random ordinary combats. The reason being is that, well, they do it to me. <sighs> it's pretty much my only defense against dealing with these guys. Zap! Zappity zappity zap zap zap. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Nope. I have to go around. They're just doing that to taunt me. Insert beyond the beyond trolling intensifies logo. Imp. Well, that's not fun. Yay! Ow! I can handle one. Boom. That was a bit of a waste. Oh well. Mm. Should have trolled. 
totally added in the Beyond the Beyond trolling intensifies as a hotkey that I can just do inside of OBS rather than editing it in. It's kind of needed. Let's be honest here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yep, exactly enough. Forever. Beyond the Beyond trolling intensifies. I think I'm going to try to make that a meme. 7, 8, 9, 10, grow. There's not even any place for me to go with this water. Ice tube, not thunder. Maybe it was both? Can't remember. I summon you! Ha! Ah, how do you like your own ice tube? Yeah, you don't like that, do you? Just die. And then he'll rain to heal everybody. Heal rain is at least very efficient with the reason why I have to heal usually. Nope, not heal. Heal rain. Anything new? You have confusion! If only that was a useful spell! Floor. 
Oh hey look! No more of that! Now we're back to sliding block puzzle. I can't actually remember if this is sliding block or not, to be honest. Ah, uh, maybe these were the ones that I had major problems with? Yeah. Oh, hey, look. More magic attacks. Here, take thunder. I probably should have healed. Hopefully nobody will miss, because that never happens, right? Okay, good. First mage potion. I might as well use another one on Maquedka. To be honest, he's not gonna cast fire one. Waste of a potion, but oh well. Okay. So, um, this dungeon is weird the way it works. Finally, normal melee characters. I can handle these. So, there's the light and dark, so that's the moon is that must be night. There's also sun blocks as well, which we haven't encountered yet. So we could walk through the sun blocks for right now. Samson will need a little bit of healing. Go Lanny. Actually, at that point, it makes more sense to heal rain. Basically, if you need to cast healing spells on two characters, you're better off heal raining. If it's just one, then you are, in fact, better off casting heal. But not by much. So, basically, all this puzzle really ends up doing is causing you to run around rooms constantly. Because, you know, what this game really needed? Arbitrary length. Yeah. Uh, I'm a bit sore at the moment because I've just pushed a cart full of uh, about 30 kilos of water. Ooh, hey look! It's the first time you get to see the side-scrolling stuff. Whoa! Now you enter the room through night. Everything that was sun is now up, but everything that was moon is now down. So you, you get to go through the same rooms twice. Yep, that's all it does. Ah, Nagas, how do you like fire? Maybe you like fire? I don't like Nagas, so, you know, there's that. Uh, apparently they don't care about fire one way or the other. Oh, well. Ow. I've got to get more resist gems. It's actually not too much longer until I can buy them, if I remember right. Hi, elf! Bam. 
So usually you get summons that are roughly the same class as what enemies you fight until you get up to summon four. That's the maximum that it goes. Okay. Annie, he'll rain us all. There we go. So we need to go this way and hit even more random encounters. Yetis! I don't like yetis. Starting to think I should probably keep McWedco with a decent amount of MP. Unfortunately, that's gonna eat through things. Just doing my due diligence to make sure there's nothing on this. Samson hit level 18! Woo! So what I actually want to do is go back to... Oh, this is the wrong one. I actually wanted to go back to where we were before so I can go pick up that treasure chest, whatever that is. Possibly equipment. Probably just something worthless. Let's be honest here. The game likes to troll me, after all. Oh gods, I got ambushed by this group. All of them have area of effect magic. Okay, please, please only like one casting. Okay, good. Yet again, supporting the theory that they really primarily cast when they're injured. Okay. This is totally, totally worth actually using items for. You are going to heal rain. You are going to... one of them. You're going to tornado... Ah, uh, crap. That's not everybody. Did I really use up? No, it's all the way back in Edward. Crap. This is going to hurt a lot more than I was expecting. Defend. Defend. Item. Wind vase, I guess. Damn it! Oh, it's only the Fire Drake Vaz that's everybody. Crap. You know what? Smoke Bomb. Screw it. Not worth it. Annie, please give us back our healing. Alright, VP. Uh, I can use a, another potion on Annie. Move down here. Eventually get to the stupid treasure chest. I think Hellhounds cast fire too, which is the weaker of the two, so I will totally go after the Eddie. Yeah, it's Fire Breath, so it's a unique spell. Yeah! You tell him, Taunt. Probably dead before McQuaid could go. Yeah. McQuaid can heal himself. Damn it! Tempest Sword, that sounds like a McWedka weapon. I think it increases critical hit rate. I would assume so from the name. Water Leaper! I actually don't remember what it does. Other than leaps through water, apparently.
Samson does more damage to himself than anybody else in the game. It's obnoxious. Okay. Now we're back here. Okay, that's out. Uh, let's see. Yep, we want to go out. I'm going to use an FAQ for this. I'm just done. Hammer. We needed a hammer, apparently. Northwest. Well, I went the wrong path, oh well. Ow! Yay. How low am I on everybody except for Sanford? Maxed. Really low. Not very low. Uh, healing herb. On Mikwetka. Do 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 do. Well, that's not gonna go anywhere. <laughs> ah, crap, confusion. Oh, which direction do I need to go? So you notice this crack that's sitting here? That crack? That's what the hammer's for. Bam! Now I can enter through the sun area. Ooh. Oh, I didn't realize Edward was that low. Whoops. Oh well. Ah, crap. Did not mean to do that. Oh well. This is going to hurt me a lot more than it's going to hurt them, isn't it? Well, at least there's only one of them. I won't die. Die, 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 die. Neil Rain. And Taunt, go ahead and potion Eddie. You know what? Uh, why don't you go ahead and potion McWedka while you're at it? Okay. 
Okay. Anything down here? No, that's right. I remember that now. Around the tower, round and round we go. Where we stop, so nobody goes. Southwest. I am almost through the tower, damn it. I hate you all, game. Why do you hate me? I think I'm out of smoke bombs, finally. Cooking powder? I guess that might theoretically work. They all cast ice, too. Do I have any smoke bombs at all? No. Screw it! Crap! Yay! Yeah, each character has a chance of running based off of their speed, so whoever is first has the highest chance of running. <coughs> mm. Something stuck in my throat. <coughs> yes! Okay. Yes! Yes, restore all of my delicious, delicious MP and HP. Yeah, that's right. There's a gem in here that does an auto-resurrect your entire party. Dun dun dun. Who's this dude? Must be somebody lame. Except he can teleport. Who goes there? By the way, say hi to God. That's right. When you climb the tower, you literally go say hi to your deity. Except your deity is not really human. I felt never felt a need to show off. So, halfway through the game, we finally get through to actual plot. Not just, you know... Bandor is invading Parian. Ah, no, this is actual plot to the game. There's an actual plot to this game. So he's a being of pure energy, apparently. With you people. You let us here? Yay, let us. Mmm, let us. So, now you get to see the world. Congratulations. That's apparently the view out the window that doesn't exist in the room. I don't understand it either. So beautiful. So many triangles. Yeah, it, it, it's a mountain. Look over there. That should be Marion. Yep, that area toward the top of the screen is supposed to be Marion. It's not. Yeah, because, you know, Percy hasn't been mentioned this entire time, and he just now decides to think about him. <laughs> yeah, I love how they don't show any of this. Um... 
How about you actually look at what I'm trying to show you? I'm trying to figure out what viewpoint you're supposed to have. Over there, you can tell from the dark clouds. Yep. I brought you here to show you clouds. Yep, clouds. Have you heard of the abyss? Apparently everybody has. Lies the underworlds and the vicious ones. So apparently there's the above world, the common world, and the underworld. And apparently the underworld's about to invade the common world. Yep, that's right. He just goes, yeah, you don't want to know. By the way, that cloud? Yeah, that's above Bandor. Yep, that's all God really wanted to tell you is, by the way, there's an evil cloud and it's over that area that invaded you guys. Just thought you'd like to know, you know. It's fine. Now GTFO. By the way, here, have a little bubble thing and play all of our sound effects. Thonk! It's a stone tablet. It only has... It's the five commandments that are missing from the original 15. Yes. Now you have a collection quest. You might, must find four ancient stone tablets and store them in your inventory for no freaking reason. Oh yes, in here. Have a light orb. All of you have a light orb. And I do mean all of you. So you have to go chuck an item because you have the light orb. I will go ahead and chuck a cure orb. Uh, no, wait. I will go ahead and chuck an antidote. Yeah, it doesn't let you, you know, move things around or anything like that. All of your characters will permanently have a light orb in their inventory. It's not just these characters. When you get new characters, they will act. Uh, Miguetka will actually break off a piece of his light orb and hand it to them. Yes. Basically, the light orb is a teleportation item, an unlimited use teleportation item that only works if you have more than five party members. Which I don't. Yeah. Beyond the Bond, why you troll me? Why you so troll? Bup, dup, 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 that's all I can say. Uh, I'm sorry, you don't get to say, know anything else. Now go away! Oh yeah, that's right, you got that whole curse thing going on. We should do something about that. Yep. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, we finally get to break Samson's curse. With massive teleportation. Good luck, Big Wedka, no matter what happens. I like teleporting. I've got nothing. That is apparently an Arc Mage. Specifically, Xeon. And that is apparently the method that Arwen uses to speak to his Archmage. And yes, that is Xeon, apparently. I like to think of this game as an alternate universe versioning, version of the Shining Force world. Namely, you know, the world where good and evil got flipped. Why the child? Hmm. Oh, terrible. Oh, hey, look. I could have, you know, done the exact same thing to you and not made you climb that God's Forsaken Tower, but nope. 
I'm just going to just do this to my Archmage. Yeah, screw you guys. Oh, by the way, there they are. And we'll finally move a shadow while we're at it. Ah, where are we? Welcome, Heroes of Marion, with an extra space for no reason. Whatever. Hey, congratulations! Samson is now no longer worthless, he's just bad. No joke. Samson's still not very good. By the way, apparently in this game, which I never realized this, if you had any characters below level, level 15 at this point, they would now become level 15. The game just levels you up for no reason. Uh, ag, uh, mmm. Yep, this is totally gonna be my screenshot for this one. Or Yes, let's spin. A lot of spinning. Shufa sha. And they're both KO'd. And now here's the kicker right here. That's right. Xeon didn't cure Samson or anything. No, he cured himself. He could have done this the entire time. Apparently he just needed confidence. Damn it, Samson! What the hell? Thank you! Look at me, McWedka! Yep. The gigantic quest is now over. We can finally go back to Zalagoon. Oh, and while he's at it, he'll finally move the damn rock. That one. Apparently the other one was already removed. Nope. Apparently it removes that one too. There we go. Now I can finally leave this god's forsaken place. Yay! Let's go defeat Bandor! Oh, we should go over here. Wind cloak. Uh, let's see. Taunt can use defense more than Edward right now. I'm gonna go save first before heading out. Yep, same old Simone. This is actually when you're supposed to come to this place. So, we're actually going to exit this way. This is actually something I did not realize the first time I played through the game. I actually, for some reason, just didn't even see this path. This is actually a secret passage and secret shortcut all the way back. And I do mean all the way back. However, it means that you have to go through a nasty boss battle. And not really boss so much as regular battle, but go through it much earlier than normal. Yeah, the enemies in here aren't exactly bad. The regular ones, that is. See, 
mean, there is nothing useful in here, apparently. So I don't need to worry too much. That's the only item in the entire dungeon. I can easily go through these enemies. They don't cast. Might as well pick up this item. Well, that probably made people dizzy. I apologize. I have Illusion Powder, and Annie's now level 19. Yep, Healing Herb. Regular Ordinary Healing Herb. <laughs> yeah, with these enemies again. I'm not too concerned about them. And now that Samson's no longer cursed, it's not anywhere near as big of a deal as it used to be for me to auto-battle these. Unfortunately, Samson still sucks. I mean, he's only two attack off of McWetka, although admittedly that's because I didn't grab the axe. So, he is stronger, it's just he's not very good. He has no magic, and as you can tell from the enemies that constantly fight me, magic means more than anything else. Ah, crap. So, this is the battle that I'm referring to. No one's allowed to pass us, unless you wish to fight. Turn around and go back to wherever you came from. Do you still want to pass? You're actually given the option as to whether you want to fight this battle or not, and this is one of those, wow, they actually thought about this. Because you can actually walk back the entire way, and it's long because of the random battles, but the random battles aren't exactly difficult battles or anything, it's just long. No one takes on the Bandor army and lives! So, you remember these guys, right? The only difference is that these are the stronger version. These are basically bosses for us at this point. Later on, you fight these monsters, uh, these guys as regular enemies. But for right now, they're bosses. Uh, let's see. I don't think that's that really. Oh, also, you notice that they have bows. That means I can hit the back row just as easily as the front row. So, need to be careful if Edward and Haunt. Now it's actually useful to cast that on Samson. Ow. Yep, Edward's already groggy. This is not that easy of a battle. Fight. Item. Ring of Defense, Edward. That's right, you could use that ring as a defense item. You can only use it a certain number of times before it breaks, and then you have to go repair it, but totally worth doing in this case. And Edward is going to be the one most likely to be alive, so I will go ahead and attack up Samson with Edward, and just tighten. But I mean. Okay, maybe he's not the most likely to be alive. Damn it! Oh well. This is still a lot of damage. If only they focused on the same character. That would be much more useful. Th -th 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 Ow! 
Naturally, this is one of the few battles in the game where the enemies actually do things intelligently. Like I said, these eventually become normal enemies. Titan! I mean, Annie can take being groggy, it's not that big of a deal. Ah, Taunt's gonna be the one that gets groggy this turn, it looks like. Aha! Be nice if they actually, you know, targeted the same one. But I know. Right. Rinse, repeat, repeatedly. I'm supposed to not repeatedly? I don't know what I'm saying. Attack, attack. Attack up. Fin. Titan. Yeah, I figured that. Yeah! Samson's actually being useful! It's always nice. Finally, you attack the same one that Samson's been attacking. That, that's good. He's probably the one more injured. And Taunt gets back up. Hey look! Vital Recover! So, you actually have a chance of automatically ungroggifying yourself. It's pretty rare, you basically have to slam on the buttons like I've been doing. Yeah, I figured that. Titan! Attack, 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 oh, attack up Sammy, I have 5 MP left, that's good for summon 2. Yay, one of them's dead, this becomes quite a bit easier now. up and punches them. That 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 was worthless game. Seriously. Okay, now you can go concentrate on healing because it's actually worth healing now. Attack, attack, attack up. Aquitka. Uh yeah, go ahead and use Mage's potion. On yourself. Got plenty. Probably should have bought items in the previous place. Well, let's be honest, it's not hard for me to get there now. Bump. Bump. 
It's actually not worth doing that this round. Long battle is long. Yep, yeah, this is going to be a very long one. It'll be over an hour. Forgot how long this actually takes, given how many hit points they have. At least they don't heal. Fire Drake one. Yeah, that's probably better for me to do than Titan. Oh well. Potion yourself. You get to attack up Samson because he'll expire this round. Assuming he lives long enough. Yep, that's fine. Yep, there we go. Problem solved. And that gave more XP than the boss. Less difficult, luckily. Okay, a healing herb. Okay. <laughs> so I am actually going to walk back, grab some items first. It'd be nice if I can teleport, but unfortunately I need Nebuchadnezzar first. Yeah, you're not a threat. Don't care. Very easy to kill. The reason being is that they have... Oh, this is actually a nice speed for me to play at. I wish the game would normally be this speed. First, sell some stuff. So much crap in my inventory. I've got to get back to Marion so I can deal with it. Uh, let's see. Sell this off the sleeping powder. And illusion powder. Great sword. Why am I saving that anyway? Well, oh, I'll use it. Heavy mail. Illusion powder. it on... Oh, I remember why, because I wasn't sure who of these two I was going to use. Uh, just give it to Annie for the time being. Okay. Let's get some more mages potions, shall we?
Basically, the main problem with using a mage potion based healing strategy is that if Annie dies, I'm screwed. Which is the main reason why I have other healing items. Just not many. There we go. If only I can keep that speed forever. Oh well. Time to run back. Again. Maybe I'll edit this one so this doesn't take as long. I forgot to heal. Oh, well. not that big of a deal. Oops. Eh. I'll have Annie do a nice heal rain. Not like I'm concerned about any of the enemies around here. So, where are we, you ask? Well, it's a good thing I have that crystal that I never use. Fishing crystal! That's all it does. It zooms out. Regular zombies! I think I can handle them. Oh yeah, hey look, it's no longer zoomed out. It only works until you hit a random battle. Ugh. You know what? I think I'm going to go with the first wake-up boss of the game while I'm at it. So three bosses in one... No, it'd be two bosses because the other boss wasn't in this one. Hey look, we're back to Zalagoon. Go ahead and rest. And let's go talk to the townspeople. What? What's going on with the town? Where'd everybody go? There is nobody here. Not even the shop, which is the reason why I bought, turned around and went back. Church is still here, though, which is good. Actually, this probably is a good spot to stop, to be honest. Yeah, I'll stop here and record the next one while I'm at it. So, next time, we finally get revenge on that evil bastard Glade. Yeah, I'm not joking here. We really do. For once, the game's not trolling us when it comes to this. Goodbye!